Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. The interesting thing is that when Ten Hag came in, you kind of went, look at his playing style, press from the front, press press out wide. And like I watched uh, both United games against you live last season. And I said to you after the game, I could not believe how little he moves yeah. in general play. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like he is a master of conserving energy yeah. and managing Just his body. Just waiting for the big moment. Just waiting for that big moment. And that's cool. If your team plays that way, where you're able to carry somebody like that and you don't expect him to get back and shut down and all that kind of stuff, right? That's cool. You can you can live with that. That's fine. Wait for the big moment. He'll take his chance most of the time. Sweet as a nut. But football's moved on. It has, especially the Premier League. The Premier League has moved on leaps and bounds where there's no team in the Premier League now can carry a luxury player like that. Nobody, literally nobody. I don't care who you are. Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal. You look at the rest of the teams in the Premier League. I don't care even if you're a, you're a, a West Ham you cannot carry a player anymore. The intensity, the the tempo, the speed, the work rate, the running stats, everything is getting higher and higher every single it's season. It's not the Premier League, is it? it that's, that's just not the Premier League to exactly. have a player like that. No. So so let's look at it. We'll come back to it, like the tunnel incident and a few bits, but now's a good time to go into... So so where could he play? Like He, he could still do, do a job in a, a Serie A. Oh yeah, and the uh, Premier, what was it, La Liga? La Liga, for sure. He could he could do a, bro- a a job in Europe somewhere easily, quite easily. If he went back to the Portuguese league, we're sporting Lisbon for sure. Um, like you say, he, he, La Liga, uh, the Italian league, he'll do a job there. The tempo is not quite so high. Do you know what I mean? They play a it's a different style of football. The Italian league, especially, it's very sort of defensive and standoffish, and it's tactical. Um, the Spanish league again quite, not quite so physical um, so he can go absolutely anywhere where do you think he'll go um, I wouldn't be surprised if he went back to Portugal to be perfectly honest really I, I, I think he um, I think he would quite like to go back to, to sport in Lisbon and um, and play for them again like I say it would suit him down to the ground it would be welcome with open arms um, and they would carry a player like it's Cristiano still seen Robert. as a, a good league yeah for isn't sure because yeah. I think if he went to MLS, for yeah. example, because that's an obvious one where he could get paid a bucket. I don't even think it's about the money. Yeah, it depends what he wants now. I think he's at, probably at that point where he'll he'll be playing the World Cup now. Um, but I think, to be honest with you, I think he's probably already got something sorted. I don't think you go down this route and get this far down it and announce you're leaving Man United and all that kind of stuff without having something going on in the background. But he's not going to go to the Middle East. He's not going to go to China. You don't know. I don't know. It's Ronaldo, all this about his ego and his legacy. Is he really going to take a step from the Premier League now and take that big payday? Did you see the payday that Saudi Arabia or whoever it was was willing to offer him like a year and a half ago? Mental, was it? It was like £300 million. £300 million quid, Tom. Sorry, mate. I don't care who you are, right, yeah? At some point, if somebody offers you £300 million, quid, you look at it and you go, whoa, um wow, this needs to be thought about. This needs to be respected, yeah? It's yeah. a serious offer, right? And I guarantee you there will be another one of them, maybe not 300 million, but it's still going to be over 100 million pounds that somebody's going to be willing to pay him for a year or two, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I understand that, but but he's, what, 37? Is yep. he 37 touching 38? Look at Zlatan, yep. right? Look at Zlatan. They're different, aren't they? They're different players. Zlatan wants to do it still. Yeah, I know, but he's 40, yep. 40 odd. Ronaldo could do two years. I, I think. Don't get me wrong. I still think Ronaldo still wants to do it, but I also know uh, just just the way that he is as a bloke. I think he knows that deep down he's not the guy he used to be. He's not the player he used to be. Um, but his commerciality is still just as high as ever. He is he is so commercially viable that wherever he goes, wherever he signs, plays for, all that kind of stuff, he will still be the main man. But this is this is kind of a guilt edged sword as well because I don't think. There's going to be a lot of Premier League teams that would be put off by the fact that it's a bit of a circus sometimes. Do you know a what I bit, mean? A, a bit of a circus. A bit of a It is a, actually quite a lot of a circus because even now at the World Cup, Portugal, it's not about Portugal. It's not about who they're playing. It's not about the rest of the team, the players in the team. It's quite literally all about Cristiano Ronaldo. So, so they're doing press conferences, aren't they? Bruno Fernandes, it could be whoever it is. And they're getting, Ruben Diaz. They're getting asked about Cristiano Ronaldo. And they're even then now, they're having to say... Guys, we're here at the World Cup to play in a major tournament, right? It's about that. 
let's talk about that. We don't want to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo anymore. Cristiano Ronaldo did an interview, didn't he, last week, saying, I don't want you to ask any more of my Portuguese um, teammates any questions about my situation, all right? My situation will become clear in the next few days, and it has. Just don't talk about me anymore, basically. Yeah. And what about, did you see when he met up? Did you buy into that at all when he met up with Bruno. Portugal and Bruno? No. It what a load of no rubbish. It was nonsense, It was it? nonsense. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.